Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liddy and today we're in London. So I'm going to a Nia concert orchestra tonight and I decided to make a day out of it and go to Food and Planet to do some manga shopping. So yeah, let's go see what they have. And here you can see me going down to the basement where all the manga is in the London Forbidden Planet. It was surprisingly crowded considering it was a Wednesday afternoon. There was quite a few people so I had to get the courage and film even though there was a few people there. Obviously this isn't as busy as it gets but it was a lot more busier than I expected. And here we can see the new releases area this is where all the new releases are and here we can see the new volume of windbreaker new volume of virgin love and the massive new vinland saga deluxe editions i didn't realize how big they were but they were massive and then i can see tokyo babylon here and the new volume of usutoki rhetoric looks really pretty the colors and then the new therapy game restart volume 3 which a lot of people have been waiting for and then we got some new Dan Mei here. And then this BL, which I'm very interested in because it's by Kokomi, who did Restart After Growing Hungry, I think. And then we got the new BL Manhua as well from Seven Seas, Punch Drunk Love. I really wouldn't even want to get this one, but obviously it's £18.99, so it's hard to do a three for two in the store. And then we've got some more volumes here, Love is an Illusion, the new volume of The Moon and the Rainy Night. And then here is the sale section. I can see Acid Town Volume 2. I'm really annoyed that I actually got that recently from Sci-Fire. I should have just got it in this sale. And then we've got some more sale section things over here. Some of them I don't really know what they're about. And then we got... His Majesty the Demon King's Housekeeper, a few volumes of that series. And then How Do We Relationship, which is a really great GL series. They even had Laid Back Camp and Konosuba as well. And then here we got lots of volumes of Mint Chocolate. Have not read that one, but I hear it's a bit of a strange manga about a step-sibling love. And they even had Magic Knight Wraith at really discounted, but obviously you can see it's a little bit damaged, that's why. And then I see Love of Kill over here. And then more mint chocolate. That's four volumes of mint chocolate in sale. And then we've got Noblesse. Some other volumes over here. Summertime Rendering Hardback is still there. And a Return as Magic special is still there as well and then here we're going on to the main shelves i'm starting from the end as you can see that's why i'm in like the w section so we've got the witch's marriage lots of witch hat atelier watakoi yakuza fiance i recently reread this and actually enjoyed it a lot more i really like the guy i think his name is kyoya or something i really like him he's kind of made the story for me at the moment and we got Yono the Dawn over here, some Yotsuba. I see the Nia Automata manga as well. And some Zom 100 down here. And then we got some Vagabond up here and some Villainous manga. And more Vagabond for 3 for 2. And then we got Villains Are Destined to Die the older editions of the Vinland Saga hardcovers, one dance and the way of the house husband and then here we have some other volumes what did you eat yesterday weathering with you and then we've got some manhwa who made me a princess and why really on ended up at the duke's mansion and then over here we've got some Taman's B-side, I really need to read this one so I can get volume 2. Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, I'm an Inet Villainous, more Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. This one's really popular so there's a lot of that. And then we've got Tokyo Ghoul as well, some Tokyo Aliens, I need to catch up with that series as well. And then more Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Revengers down there. And then I saw the Stepmother's Marching Volume 3, which I really wanted, but $16.99, I need to find a 3 for 2. Very difficult at some of these price points. And then we've got loads of Spy Family here as well. 
And then over here we've got a bunch of Seraph at the end and then the new Manhua See You In My 19th Life which the Empress recently gifted me which was really really sweet of them. And then we've got Sakamoto Days up here as well. And then I see some Sign of Affection, Skip and Lofa, Sino Alice and loads of Slam Dunk as well. Very nice to see these on the shelves again and you can get a 3 for 2 on them as well because they're Viz Media. And then over here we got a great shelf of solo leveling. I actually recently read solo leveling in January and absolutely loved it. Like it was really good. I need to continue that series. And then we've got the shoujo manga shelf up here. Lots of different shoujo series. We've got the Cinderella Closet, Cheeky Brat, Bride of the Barrier Master, Gap Papa. And I saw Galaxy next door, which is a seinen, so I don't know why they put it in the shoujo section. That's annoying. And then we got the Incurable Case of Love, In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, Imakoi, and quite a few volumes of Kimini Tadoge. Still loads of gaps though. And then the Night Captain's Princess B, if you read, if you saw my unhaul, you'll know why I really hated that. And then Lovesick Ellie. Some volumes of Nana, My Girlfriend's Child over here, I see Marmalade Boy, Oran High School Host Club down here, Prince Freya, which I can't believe it's already volume 10, I remember when I dropped it at volume 3, <laughs> and then we've got Vampire Night, Tsubaki Cho, Lonely Planet, and then the two red flag mangas, Wolf Girl and Black Prince and Stray Cat and Wolf both together. And then we got You Know the Dawn down here. And then some more manga up here. We got Bocchi the Rock, Bungo Stray Dogs. You can tell I'm in the B section. This manga shopping is a bit all over the place, mainly because I focused on shelves that weren't too busy because I didn't want to get in anyone's way. So I kind of hopped around shelves and started filming depending on if people were there or not because. When I'm doing these filmings, I don't ever want to get in anyone's way. I don't want to. I want to make sure I'm not filming actual people because obviously I know people won't be comfortable with it. So yeah, that's why I'm jumping from like different alphabets. Yeah, lots of different stuff here. And then we got 20th Century Boys. I'll have a ride. Seventh Time Loop. One of my favorites. And Akane Banashi. This one's really good. And then we got Alice in Borderland here as well. And then up here we can see some Doctor Stone, the eccentric Doctor of the Moonflower Kingdom, which I'm really, really excited to start reading that one. And then we got some Elden Ring manga, which I think this is kind of like a gag take on the Elden Ring series. And then Essence of Being a Muse and Fairy Tale down here and Yakuza, ex Yakuza Stray Kitten and then Final Fantasy the Iazua Academy Edition and then a bunch of Fire Punch and Fire Force and here we got lots of Jujutsu Kaisen obviously Jujutsu Kaisen is very popular and we got Kaguya-sama and Kaiju number no. 8 some of the very popular shonen series on this shelf and then we got Komi Can't Communicate on the next door with some more Kimi Doke and bunch of Kimono Jihan for 342, which is really, really great to see. And then here we got some more different types of manga Magic Arts and Dahlia Wilts No More, lots of Mashley. A lot of people are loving that series due to the anime. And we got some Maid Summer here as well. And this new one that I haven't seen, Marriage Toxin. Not sure what that one's about. And then I can see some more here. We've got Monster, Moriarty the Patriot, the new one's out already. I feel like this series is really hard to catch up to because the volumes come out so quick. And then we've got Mr. Villain's Day Off, the third volume. Looks really pretty, the spines all together, but it's just way too expensive to be able to purchase in store. And then we got some My Dress Up Darling bunch of those volumes, My Happy Marriage, and a bunch of My Hero Academia as well. 
And then here we come to the LGBTQ plus manga. And you can see here we got some Candy Color Padro Paradox, Bloom Into You, some new BL that I have never seen before. I feel like BL one shots release quite often and I can never keep up with them. And then we've got some Delinquent Daddy and Tender Teacher, Dangerous Convenience Store over there. The Dragon's Betrothed Volume 2, Fangs. And then we've got some Hello Melancholic, Hirano and Kaeguru. How do we relationship? The new volume is out actually, Volume 10. I really want to get this one, but it's already £8.99, which is so sad. The Vizmania volumes are expensive now. And then we've got I Married My Female Friend. I'm in love with the villainous, some more GL manga, and then we got some love is an illusion which is a manhwa, uh, like a megaverse one, and then moon on the rainy night, really cute GL series as well. I've actually been into girls love series a lot more than BL recently, I haven't really been reading much BL. And then we got the reprint of No Touching At All by that was originally printed by June and I'm so glad it's got a reprint with its counterpart even so I Will Love You Tenderly which is coming out soon. And then we got Run Away With Me Girl, a really good one, really good GL. And my favourite, oh my god my favourite MAGA, she loves to cook, she loves to eat, okay I went a bit hyper sorry but love that, definitely get that one. And we got Summer Review, <laughs> The Summer Hikaru Died, More Therapy Game Restart, Twilight Out of Focus, Thigh High over here, which I still have the volumes of if anyone is interested in buying them of me. Really cheap, I'll give it to you for cheap. <laughs> and then we got The Girl from the Other Side here, Go Go Loser Rangers. Never really heard of anyone talking about the Go Go Loser Rangers manga. And then Gold Kingdom and the Water Kingdom. This one is really cute but super expensive, so I never picked it up. And then we've got Goodnight Pun Pun, which is one that I will probably never read. And then some more manhua over there. And then we've got Oshinoko, Parasite, and Past the Monster Meet Milady over here. And then lots of like Persona manga. I'm not sure what that one's about. I've never really played the game. Phantom of the Idol down there. And then more Persona stuff. And then lots of Pluto. That's like Urasawa's famous work. But yeah, now it's time to eat. We're on our way to the Nia concert now. I hope you enjoyed the manga shopping vlog portion of the video. I will be showing you what I got at the end of this vlog. So stay tuned to see what I picked up. And here's us kind of going, making our way to South Bank Center to the Royal Festival Hall where the Nia concert was. And it was absolutely amazing. Hi everyone! So this is going to be my little haul of what I got in Forbidden Planet. So in the previous clips you'll have seen me go around Forbidden Planet London and do a little bit of manga shopping. I actually ended up only finding a few things in the sale section which I got. I didn't want to spend too much because I actually ended up spending a bit in, on the Nia concert as well as I went to a London pop-up for a fashion brand called Mary Wyatt. They had a pop-up in London and I ended up getting quite a few things and yeah so I'm probably going to show you a few things that I got from there if you stay tuned in the end. I'll just do the manga portion for now and yeah let me show you what I got. So the first thing I got in Forbidden Planet was Eclair Blanche. Blanche? I don't know how to say it. Excuse my French. <laughs> But this was £2.99 in the sales section and this is an anthology of Yuri short stories so I decided to get it. I, obviously you know me, I love Yuri stories, I love GL stories so I decided to get this one and obviously it was so cheap, £2.99 so I got it, yeah. And the next one I got was Confessions of a Shy Baker volume 
three. I actually don't have volume one or two, but it was £4.99. And I remember Cake Tin saying that she thought this was really nice. And I've also really been liking food based manga recently, obviously, because I absolutely love the manga. She loves to cook, she loves to eat. That is one of my favorite mangas at the moment. And I wanted to maybe try a food based BL manga. And so I got this one. So I'll see if I can try and find volume one for cheap somewhere. And then I can start reading this one. But £4.99, super cheap. And then I got three volumes of a series in the sales section. I got number two, three, and four of His Majesty the Demon King's Housekeeper. All of these volumes were £3.50. Let me show you. So this one's the second volume. £3.50 and then we got the third volume as you can see in the sticker same price and then the fourth volume so I actually wasn't super interested in this series but then they had two three and four for £3.50 so I was like why not might as well £3.50 you can't really go wrong so I decided to get it and for a seven seas volume it's usually like they're usually like nowadays $12.99. This might be maybe $10.99, $11.99, but from oh yeah, so wait, I can see. So it actually was discounted from £6.50 to £3.50, but the original price will probably be around $11.99. So that is an absolute bargain. So I ended up just picking up all three of these in one sweep because all of them were in the sales section. I don't actually have volume one, so I need to find that for cheap, but Volume ones are usually a lot easier to find for cheap, so I shouldn't have too much problems. But yeah, so just a pretty small haul this time, but super happy with the bargains that I found in Forbidden Planet London. Definitely check out Forbidden Planet London if you're in the area. They have a sales section constantly, so you can go and see like what they have. And sometimes I've seen volumes discounted for like 99p which is insane so definitely go check it out so that was my manga haul portion of the video if you're not interested in like merch or like clothing you can click out of the video but i thought i'd include it at the end just to see if anyone else was interested in after all the manga portion and yeah i wanted to share what i got so obviously as you'll have seen i went to the nia orchestra concert in London that's kind of why I went to London that day and it was absolutely amazing it was one of the best concerts I've ever been to the vocals the orchestra the conducting the atmosphere it just was amazing I literally obviously if you've been on my channel you know I love the Nia franchise it's my absolute favorite game franchise and I love it so much and I had an amazing time and it was just great loved it so much and i got some merch from there at the merch stand and this is what i got so i got the a2 plushie when i got to the merch counter the a the 2b and the emil plushie was sold out i love a2 actually a2 is one of my favorite characters anyway so i was really happy that her plushie was still available i actually really wanted the emil plushie because it looks super cute but i'm sure i can get it in store but it's these are one of the things where i just bought it because i'm kind of there and in the moment i'm pretty sure you can get these plushies online but yeah really cute and then i got the nia replicant 10 plus one years vinyl lp box this one is super heavy and you can kind of see what it includes lots of different music and obviously it's got the Devola and Popola and Nia and Emil soundtracks. Kana's Salvation is probably my favorite song from the Nia franchise and when they played it yesterday I literally started bawling my eyes out so yeah. <laughs> but yeah those are the two things that I got from my Nia Orchestra concert visit and then I'm going to show you some of the things that I got from Mary Wyatt. So this is my Mary Wyatt. I got, they gave me a nice little bag to fit all my purchases. I actually was, they did a pop-up at uh, Parliament Tattoo in London. And it was perfect because it was like a special event for Valentine's Day that only happened 
on that day and they announced it a day before and then it was like the most amazing thing ever because i've always wanted to buy some things from there but obviously because you have to buy online it's a bit tricky and also it was perfect timing because we were going to go to london for the Nia concert and then obviously they had the pop-up in this one day and also if you bought in store they were doing 15% off everything so obviously I took that opportunity to go have a browse and I was actually one of the first people there I literally got there at 12 o'clock and I think I was actually the first person to make a purchase that day so yeah I bought quite a bit of things so I don't know if you can see but I got this it's called a Lix corset midi dress so it kind of has like this corset detailing at the front and it's like very long I'll post a picture of what it looks like because I'm finding it hard to obviously do this camera angle and then I got this really cute beret super cute this one is the Moshe beret it has like the detailing on their clothing is really good they do like I don't remember what this is called but like stitching it's not just like printed on instead it's actually like hand stitched which is amazing really good quality stuff and then i got two accessory belts i got this one it's called the axis apple skin vegan leather chain belt so it's made with vegan leather which is amazing and it's got like a chain detailing here and it's super super nice and it's part of their new range of vegan leather accessories which is really good and then i got their helium apple skin double chain belt this one has two chains like this and it obviously has the mary wyatt branding and then also kind of these like a barbed wire detailing which is super super pretty and I'm so excited to wear this one over dresses and stuff like that. Really pretty. And then I got this Legion 2 vintage tee with a really interesting graphic look as well as the Mary Wyatt logo. And then I got this one in a size large because I wanted it to be really baggy and I'll use it. I'll probably layer some things under it so that I can wear it really nicely. And then I got the Mary Wyatt Torment cut off crop tee. Really cool detailing and design on the back here as well. And the last purchase I got was the Sydney oversized trench coat. This is one of my favorite purchases, I think. It's just stunning. It has all the really nice Mary Wyatt detailing, such as the metals and also the inside logo and it's just stunning i'll show you a picture of what it looks like in on the person on the model because obviously i don't have pictures of myself in it but yes i absolutely love it and yeah that was my mary white haul something a little bit different from what i usually do but i just wanted to include it as it was kind of part of my london haul and yeah i hope you enjoyed sorry i'm not doing like fashion blogging or anything like that so it might have been really hard to see what I've got but yeah hope you enjoyed that small little random haul there and yeah I will see you in my next video make sure to like comment and subscribe and yeah I'll see you soon bye Ziki. Ziki.